Hi girl. Hi guys, my name is Elise Nacho and Karibu to my channel. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you comment down below and press the like button and also subscribe. We love a big family. We love a big family here. So I really want to thank you guys for checking out my Facebook post. I think it was like last week and I posted another one today. I decided to just post this up and get to know what your issues are with your natural hair and what you really want to know about natural hair and something that can actually help you with your natural hair journey because you remember this is not only my page this is our page you know because my channel is your channel I really wanted us as a community to help each other out and grow our hair and flourish and be like sis so every Wednesday I'll be doing I'll be taking questions from my YouTube page my Instagram page and the comments down below so if you're new here Karibu Sana why has my natural hair stopped growing Number one, you're using somebody else's routine and the first time it's actually working out but after some time it's not actually working out. We have so many inspirational natural hair gurus and they use what they feel it's beneficial for their own hair. So as you, if you're using a product for the first time or you're doing somebody else's routine, if it doesn't work out in the first one month, just let it go. Last year I was co-washing my hair. Reason why? Because people are co-washing their hair. Like last year I was using somebody else's routine and I was constantly co washing my hair religiously i'm telling you every time it was wash day or every time like three times a no two times a week and then on wash day i'll always wash my hair never use shampoo i just co wash co wash co wash co wash co wash and i'm telling you my hair was in the worst state it has ever been not because that somebody's routine is actually wrong for them it's just it's wrong for my natural hair my natural hair wasn't agreeing with just constantly washing my hair and that's when i turned i just listened to my hair and was like please i'm begging you bring me shampoo i'm telling you just bring me shampoo so what i decided to do is i started changing my natural routine and i started using shampoo more consistently and after that i started seeing a lot of growth a lot of like new growth i felt like my scalp was so much cleaner because i because what i noticed is i was walking out i was in a dusty place at that time and walking around with like kind of oily hair first of all i'm moisturizing my hair every day and then for i'm not even washing out the dirt i'm not even washing out the oil i'm just co-washing my hair with that basic condition i just brought the whole situation into like you know it was just exploding everywhere so that's why i changed my natural hair routine from using conditioner to just using shampoo and constantly just once in a while using co-washing my hair number two consistency when it comes to your moisture routine that's the most important part of your natural hair journey like hair. for example let's say for example you don't moisturize your hair for two weeks yeah your hair is gonna be dry it's gonna be breaking off your hair is gonna be falling off everywhere it's because you haven't moisturized your hair consistently even if your hair is in a protective style such as braids and waves waves i think it's a little bit harder but you have to find your way around it i think i'll be doing videos on how to moisturize your hair in a weave how to moisturize your hair in a braid because like i think that is the place or that is a like period where so much breakage happens and you don't really notice because our hair is just hiding under extensions of our extensions or it's hiding under braid and we can't really see the state of our hair so i think our moisture routine is really really important even if you're co-washing your hair or you're conditioning your hair once a week even if I have low manipulation styles, I still need to moisturize my hair. I shouldn't just assume that because it's in a low manipulation style, because it's in a style that won't cause breakage, if I don't moisturize it, my hair is going to be okay. It's a lie. I'm telling you it's a lie but remember just moisturize be consistent with your moisture routine and also be consistent with your wash day routine that is the second most important thing ever just constantly just all you need to do if you're new to the natural hair journey and you don't really know what to do and you don't really know how many products you actually buy just start with this you need a shampoo you need a conditioner you need an oil and that's it if you feel like your hair dries out completely after conditioning with the shampoo try and alternate the shampoo like to once a month or once every two weeks and see if it can 
actually works and see if it can actually work for you number three i think the detangling process is one of the most dangerous parts of your natural hair routine i got this quote from a natural hair guru i if i remember her i promise i'll put her youtube page down below so you can also also take hey where cool so you can also check out her work so she said that the detangling routine is like one of the most vital processes in our hair if you're taking your hair and you're detangling it like it's nothing and you're literally tearing through your hair and you're just hearing What you should actually do is if you decide to use combs or if you decide to use a white tooth comb or a denim brush, make sure your hair is moisturized, make sure your hair has conditioner on, make sure you protect your ends, make sure you at least finger detangle your hair before you use a white tooth comb or a normal comb. I did a video on that and I'll place it up here on how I combed out my hair and how I did it with little to no breakage. Another thing is when it's detangling your hair, don't detangle it in a state or uh, during the time where you're in such a rush number four let's talk about split ends i feel like this is one of the topics when it comes to cutting off your hair people are like no we're not cutting off our hair if you don't cut off those split ends one way or the other it's just going to cause a big issue another thing is i've gotten so many questions on whether you can actually repair split ends because i've been seeing i've been seeing this different youtube videos on how to repair split ends and how to make sure like your hair is just new and fresh and all of that it's a lie some of them is a lie you cannot repair split ends yes we do do have like temporary ways that you can actually make sure your split ends don't get worse temporary ways in which your hair will look healthier because of the use of silicone but at the same time remember you can never repair split ends at the end of the day you're just hiding the issue but the issue is still there you understand so if you have split ends and you feel like your hair is just a little rough too rough at the end and your hair is just acting all funny it's not getting a lot of moisture it's not bringing in moisture it just doesn't want anything just go to a hair specialist or a salon that you actually trust talk to your salonist in case you don't know how to cut your hair just talk to your salonist make sure they understand your problem make sure they understand that all you need is a trim not a cut <laughs> so i'm telling you just specify a trim not a cut or if you want to cut off your natural hair yourself i think i'll do a video on it maybe next week or next week but when i'm not really sure i think when i start the protective style challenge i'll show you guys how i normally cut my hair but just make sure you just cut them off let, let them go just let them go i'm telling you just let them go number five healing process so many people have been asking me these questions like for example how comes other natural hair gurus they'll be styling their hair every day every day they have a new style but nothing happens to their hair but when it comes to you something like your hair doesn't really like it that much you get so much breakage you get so many split ends and this is for you for example the natural hair guru may and this is you this is you and this is your natural hair guru your favorite natural hair guru for example your natural hair guru like styling her hair every day and when you try using that routine in your regime it doesn't really work remember both of you have different genetics both of you have different hair textures both of you have different porosities both of the thickness of each strand each individual strand is your, in your hair is actually different so maybe it might work for her but it might not work for you i know so many natural hair grows who style their hair either once a week or they style their hair every day it kind of depends on what your hair actually loves for example when it comes to me my cousin loves using like a blow dryer she will use a blow dryer and her hair is simply amazing but when it comes to me i have this hair that can be really easily like it's i feel like it's attracted to its damage like it just wants its damage you know irrespective of whatever i actually do my hair doesn't really like hitting tools as much yes i can use them okay and nothing will actually happen happen but if i use her routine of using heating stools consistently my hair will just fall off so listen to her if you're constantly styling your hair and you're seeing a lot of breakage just give your hair a period of like five days to actually relax and maybe on the weekends you can actually style your natural hair but if that doesn't work make it two weeks or make it a month or try and invest in natural hair protective long-term protective styles such as braids such as wigs like there are so many long-term protective styles that can actually help your natural hair so thank you for watching my video thank you so much and if you're new here or you haven't yet subscribed make sure you subscribe below and join the lazy natural family i'll see you on friday